Okay, let's take a look at how we can log the installation process to a text file. And this is particularly handy if you're trying to track down a problem and so forth. So let's start up Setup Factory here. We're going to do a very simple one. Uh, this time I'm using the number one uh, source file. I'm just going to create a new project and drag this in. So this is from our source files folder and it's the number one file. There we go. That's all we need with that. As you can see, there's no log file on my desktop right now, and we're going to go ahead and create an installer that will make a log file there. So let's go ahead in the settings pane here and click on log files, and you can see here that there's an option to create a log file or to uh, not create a log file. I'm going to actually leave that on to create a log file, and just to demonstrate this, I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, my desktop folder here so that we can see the results. Of course, by default, it's installing there to the program folder with your product name. Okay, there we go. I'm going to change the write mode to overwrite. Of course, append means to write to the end of a file. To, in other words, to add to a, a lo an existing log file if it exists, whereas overwrite will actually overwrite any existing log file. Now, we've got options here for including action details. We can log just the errors, a simple log or a verbose log. We'll go ahead and use the verbose log for now. I'm going to go ahead and press OK, and let's build this project and test it out. Okay, there we go. I can actually go ahead and shut down Setup Factory now and we'll run the setup. We'll just let it go through this process here. Obviously, we've just got the default screens. Okay, press Next. There we go. Now it's installed and I'll close this down. As you can see, there's a log file now on my desktop. So I'll go ahead and open this up in a text editor. As you can see, it contains a date timestamp for all the actions that were uh, gone through here and every single action that it went through, the results, and so on and so forth. So if you're trying to track and install, particularly if you have any kind of problem or you're trying to see specifically what's going on within your installer, uh, this absolutely is the best way to do it. You just create a log file. And of course, as you can see in Setup Factory, when you start a new project, it, it does actually create a log file by default um, to that folder, to the program, uh, to the product name folder. So that's uh, creating log files with Setup Factory 7.0. Let's go on to the next video lesson.